This is Amber Heard having the time of her life in this city of love, Paris. Flowers, exotic wines, and yes, deluxe hotel rooms. Yet, she still owes her ex-husband tons of money. Just a few weeks ago, Amber claimed that her financial status was not good at all, following the trial against Depp, and the actress startled everyone by filing for bankruptcy after finding herself unable to pay the Pirates of the Caribbean actors' court punishment. Once the trial was over, the jury decided that Amber was responsible for Depp's $10 million in damages. The Aquaman actress's legal team informed the judge that she would not have enough money to repay the obligation as soon as the judge's decision was made. But that seems like a big fat lie after seeing Amber bathe in luxury in Paris recently. So will Depp ask the courts to force Amber to pay what she owes? Let's find out. Doesn't Amber Heard just love gracing the headlines? Be it for good or bad, sorry, it's mostly for the bad. The Justice League A's recently took to her Instagram stories by posting a sneak preview of her luxurious visit to Paris. This move sparked wild reactions on the internet, with millions of Johnny Depp fans claiming that Amber lied when she declared that she was too broke to pay her ex-hubby. In an interview on NBC's Today with co-host Savannah Guthrie on June 2nd, just a day after the verdict was delivered, Amber's former lawyer Elaine Bredehoff said the Aquaman actress is not able to pay what the jury awarded her ex-husband. Asked about the jury's verdict, which the lawyer said Amber would appeal and has since done so, Elaine said the case was a tale of two trials citing the previous defamation case in Britain that Depp had brought forward against the British tabloid The Sun. A few weeks later, the Rum Diary star, who had been plunging deeper and deeper into a financial ruin since losing the trial, reportedly filed for bankruptcy to avoid the payout. According to several news outlets, Amber filed for bankruptcy before July 21st and issued an appeal with the court about the state of her finances and bowed out from the settlement payment. And in as much as it is within her rights to do so, the lifestyle Amber has been showcasing on the media does not resonate with that of a totally broke person. Unfortunately for the Texas native, declaring bankruptcy won't help her avoid paying debt or the defamation case. Instead, going this route might only help her slow down the payments. And with Amber's legal team continuing to make appeals over the verdict, this might be able to buy her time as well. During the hearing, the mother of one rented a palatial apartment, costing a skin-stretching $22,000 on monthly rent. A few weeks later, she caught a private flight to attend to her personal business in New York. Then another week later, Amber was spotted dining at a Greek restaurant in Watermill with her sister Whitney Hurd and Whitney's two children and now the Paris holiday. So fans believe Amber is not that broke. She is simply trying to spend whatever she has left to avoid paying Johnny Depp. But legally, Depp would still get $10 million in damages from Amber, even if she continues claiming that she can't afford to pay the hefty amount to her former husband. An experienced attorney weighed in on the options for Depp to claim the settlement. Attorney Rayford Dalton Palmer says, Johnny has a judgment saying she owes him. He can collect against her assets and income for decades, but smart people with money know how to shelter assets. She might try to use bankruptcy to slow down payment, but this is not a cure-all, he added. So there you have it. Amber is likely to use bankruptcy to avoid paying debt his dues while she continues to spend money on exclusive holidays. Remember, this information is based on theories and opinions and therefore shouldn't be considered facts. And that's it from us today. Until next time, bye!